Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back out of uh, uh, Milwaukee. The biggest news so far out of the Republican National Convention is the vice presidential pick. So how do Illinois lawmakers feel about the selection of Senator J.D. Vance from Ohio to serve at the top of the ticket with former President Donald Trump? Well, Congressman Darren LaHood represents the 16th District, which includes Peoria and Rockford, and he joins me now live this morning. I really appreciate it. Welcome. Dana, thanks for having me. So I know a lot of uh, members of the Illinois delegation that we spoke with yesterday, they said they were really excited about the fact that former President Trump picked the senator from Ohio. What are your thoughts on his pick? Well, I think it's an excellent pick. President Trump had the ability to have a really deep bench of people to pick from, and he couldn't have picked anybody better than J.D. Vance. Uh, I think J.D. Vance, uh, being a Midwesterner, really helps. Uh, when you look at states like Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Ohio, uh, that we need to win uh, in the presidential race, I think he brings a lot to the table. He's got a tremendous skill set. I also like his youthfulness. Uh, youngest pres vice presidential candidate since Richard Nixon. He's 39 years of age. Got a young family. Very bright guy. Wasn't always a Trump supporter. Uh, was a never-Trumper back in 2016. Uh, but I think that says a lot about President Trump, that he was willing to pick him, uh, even though he wasn't always a supporter. And so I think he brings a lot to the table. Uh, I think he'll relate very well to folks in the Midwest. He brings a humbleness, comes from a, a very um, humble background, uh, very poor. Of course, people have read the book, right. a Hillbilly LG. Uh, so I think it's an excellent uh, selection. So, Representative LaHood, one of the themes today and throughout the convention is unity. And, you know, to be very straightforward here, Senator Vance is considered even further right on some issues than Donald Trump, one of those being abortion. He has also said he opposes all funding for Ukraine. There are still many in Illinois, many Republicans who believe the party has swung too far right and needs to move back at least a little bit towards the center. So is this the ticket to unify? the Republican Party? Well, I think it is. I don't think President Trump would have picked J.D. Vance um, but for knowing that it'll unify the country. Remember, J.D. Vance was elected statewide in Ohio, uh, uh, you know, a, a swing state in many views, uh, in many ways. And so he was able to uh, attract a broad, diverse group of people in Ohio to get elected in a, in a swing state. Uh, so I think that says a lot about him. I also would just say... Um, you know, he's had a very strong um, uh, record of be having support from labor, uh, traditionally not Republican voters, uh, kind of blue collar voters that he's been able to attract. And so I think that'll be a unifying message. He comes from uh, he spent a lot of time in the tech world, uh, which is not a traditional place where Republicans come from. So I, I think those attributes will be strong. So in terms of unity and togetherness, um, I've never seen a convention that is more together thus far. I think a lot of that has to do with the events that happened last weekend. But I also I think it's reflective of J.D. Vance being part of the ticket and what, what he brings. Real quick, and I, I'm going to ask you for a real quick answer here. Will there be any room for bipartisan unity? After all, your own father, a Republican, former Congressman Ray LaHood, was President Obama's transportation secretary. What about moving forward? Absolutely. I think you'll see throughout uh, this convention a lot of Democrats. Last night we heard the head of the Teamsters. Who would ever thought that would have happened at a, a Republican convention, that the head of the Teamsters uh, pro-union right. group would be speaking uh, to Republicans? I think it goes on to show that uh, there's a working class element uh, that, of the Republican Party, and that unity will continue to build uh, all this week, and you'll see more of that. Okay. Okay, I, I really appreciate your insight, Congressman Darren LaHood. Thank you again for being with us this morning, and um, I hope you have a good rest of your week here in Milwaukee. Take care. Thank you. Of course, collectibles are a big part of every convention. Of course they are. So check out some of the merchandise for sale at the RNC. Two t-shirts in particular say, I'm voting for the felon, featuring Donald Trump's face. It references his conviction in the New York hush money case. Another shows his mugshot after being charged in Georgia for trying to overturn the 2020 election. Our producers did try to find out if uh, you could still get some of that merchandise and how much it would cost, something in particular, a pair of shoes. We'll show you those some other time. We showed them all morning. But um, bottom line is there's a lot of bling here along with that merchandise, Audrina. But gearing up to be another eventful day here. 
All right, Dana, thank you so much. Glad we got you guys there keeping tabs on everything for us. We appreciate that so much.